Life on the internet, where things are often not as they seem. Take, for example, the latest swindle. Thieves hacking into Facebook websites and issuing urgent pleas for money. Well, would you ignore the desperate request if it looked like it was coming from a friend? Well, CNN's Jason Carroll explains. Facebook has become a popular way to reach out and touch someone in cyber world. I've reconnected with old friends from high school days, college days, grad school days, people I used to work with. Brian Rutberg expected to find old friends. What he didn't expect was for a cyber criminal to find him. <laughs> what happened to Rutberg started about two weeks ago when his family noticed something frightening. When my daughter was alarmed that my Facebook status had changed and I hadn't changed it. A new message on Rutberg's page read, Brian is in urgent need of help. Of course he wasn't, he was safe at home in Seattle. But somehow they had taken over access to the page. I had been locked out. Someone had changed the email address associated with the account. A hacker posing as Rutberg sent messages to friends claiming he was robbed at gunpoint in London and needed money to get home. He even left a message with Rutberg's Facebook friend, Benny Rubenstein. Listen to the recording. He was caught in London, he's in trouble. Um, he was robbed. Rubenstein wired $1,200 to London. It's not only just the financial thing, it's also an invasion of all your whole privacy and who your friends are. People have, really have, forgot, you know, basic safety. Like when mom said, don't talk to strangers, that was good advice. Security experts say there are two ways to better protect yourself having antivirus programs and making sure they're up to date. The second thing you can do is everyone can kind of push some of these companies to do a little bit better job in protecting privacy. With the help of Facebook, it took about a day for Rutberg to regain access to his account. Every user of the web should be better educated and I think Facebook has a role to play there as do any of the social networking sites. Letting users know that if their site is hacked, how to respond and giving them an easy way to get in touch with the companies. Facebook says though this scam affects a small number of users, they're instituting changes that will better notify users when their account is modified. All right, that was Jason Carroll reporter. And just to give you an idea of Facebook's vast reach, less than a month ago, it passed the milestone of 150 million users.